This is Dr. Chawa Anjaneilu, Senior ENT Surgeon. I am working with the Asian ENT Care Center located in Panjagutta, Hyderabad. Asian ENT Care Center is having all the facilities to diagnose and treat all ear, nose, throat problems that is ear discharge, decreased hearing, tinnitus, vertigo, decreased sensation of smell, sinusitis, nasal obstruction, adenotonsil problem, voice problems especially hoarseness, dysphagia, all we treat with advanced technology, we have the lasers, coagulator machines. So this will help to treat our condition very perfectly. Now we are seeing many patients coming with vertigo problem after COVID infection recovery. Especially those who have diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, any other autoimmune disorders, these patients are having more chances of the vertigo problem after COVID recovery. This is mainly due to COVID has the affection to get attracted by the cochlear and vestibular cells. So in COVID patient there is a more chance this infection will go to the inner ear and cause infection. Along with this infection, if he has a patient has predisposing factors, those are diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, any vasospasm problems, this will increase the COVID effect. Mainly in inner ear, the problem is due to hair cell damage, that is vestibular hair cell damage and blood vessel constriction. These two factors will cause the vertigo problem after COVID infection. If blood vessels are already narrowed because of diabetes or any hypercholesterolemia or atherosclerotic patches, this COVID minimal inflammation also causes complete problem and that's why patient will get dizziness problem. In autoimmune disorders also already there is inflammation in the ear which increase the effects of the COVID. So COVID patients with other health problems will have more chances of vertigo problem. Usually these patients initially they will focus on the recovery of the COVID infection. Once they recover completely from the infection after 2-3 weeks and they will focus on the dizziness or vertigo problem. After once he recovered, his general condition improves, he becomes numb, then he will focus on that and he will say I am having vertigo problem or a hallucination of the movement. In these patients always we have to do the vestibular function test to check how the vestibular function is there. If there is a damage to the vestibular function, this test WEMP and video nystagmography show the decreased response. So that is hypo function of the vestibular system. Once you diagnose that system, then you treat the patient for a vertigo. In this treatment, once we diagnose, we treat symptomatically to reduce the vertigo and simultaneously we treat the patient to increase the recovery of the outer air cells and blood vessels. For this purpose, we give some vestibular suppressant drugs that is beta histamine to reduce the function, irritation of the vestibular system thereby he will have less dizziness and vertigo. And we have to give some vasodilators also to increase the blood flow in that area by vasodilatation. Canaurin tablets or Tremadol tab, uh, uh, we will give that injection, Trentol and uh, vasodilators. This will cause vasodilatation. Most of the times patients, if you get a treatment with vasodilators and vestibular suppressants and antiacidants, is the dizziness will improve. Along with this, we give the some vestibular rehabilitation exercises also to compensate and to increase the function of the vestibular system. Rarely patient have persistent vertigo. We give injection of platelet rich plasma into the ear. These injections will contain growth factors and vasodilators. These growth factors and vasodilators directly go into the ear and it will increase the recovery of the vestibular cells and increase the blood flow. Thereby patient vertigo will decrease. So if you have any problem of the 
ಹೊಟ್ಟೆಗೋ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಏಷ್ಯನ್ ಇ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಕೇರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರು ಇಯರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಆಲ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ರೇಡಿಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಡಯಗ್ನೋಸ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ವಿ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಬೈ ಬೋತ್ ಫಿಸಿಯೋಥೆರಪಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ರಿಹ್ಯಾಬ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ನೀಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಟೆಂಪ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ 